What's going on guys? So Modern Horizons spoiler season is finally upon us. So all of the mystery surrounding what could be coming in a set specifically crafted for the modern format will be over. But what cards do I think we'll be seeing in the set? What cards are powerful enough to warrant being printed to solve the format's problems, but reasonable enough not to break modern as we know it? Let's look into this in this first installment of Arsenal Talks. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Chris from the Commander Arsenal and the wait has finally ended. Modern Horizon spoiler season is here. So we've already had some insane reprints announced. A powerful counter spell that has just been spoiled that's sure to change the way that Modern is played. Just kidding, it's it's just it's just flusterstorm. It's just flusterstorm. But I think that this reprint gives us a clue as to what's coming. It shows us the power level that Wizards is really shooting for whenever it comes to Horizons. They want specific answers to decks in the format, without printing cards that boost those same decks that they're trying to nerf up too much. In the same hand, I think that Flusterstorm might be a clue as to another theme we'll see in Horizons, and that's specifically giving us answers to problematic decks that might arise from its printing in the first place. Specifically, I'm thinking about, and this is a card that everybody wants to hear, everybody wants to know, is Force of Will gonna be in Horizons? Hear me out. I think that it will be, and uh, I'm gonna repeat this, no clue. No clue if it's gonna be in there. However, Storm isn't very problematic deck in the format right now. Why would they print Fluster Storm in a format that it's not really gonna do much? It's not gonna do that much. So if a card like Force of Will was printed, I think that the archetype would be a lot more powerful. And any other sort of combo based strategy is gonna be a lot more powerful. Consequently, Flusterstorm is a powerful sideboard card against these kind of decks and addresses the issue of combo decks simply breaking the format. Like, let's just look at a deck like Phoenix. Uh, it's relatively kept in check, and I'm relatively, in quotes, kept in check through versatile yet specific answers like Surgical Extraction and Rest in Peace. Giving those fair decks specific answers to unfair cards makes fair decks better and the format healthier. Fair decks also benefit from a card like Force of Will to help curb the unfair decks in the format. Looking at, uh, I don't want to mention any specific names. It just starts with T and ends with Tron. It, it's just Tron. It's just Tron. This is the balance that I feel uh, Wizards is really trying to find through cards in the set. Balancing those unfair strategies can also be achieved through printing cards that have a similar power level to those already unfair cards that kind of boost up those decks that would be like considered tier two. And that's why I think that we'll see a reprint of Containment Priest. Right now, Phoenix is king. There's no, there's no denying that. Uh, these hyper aggressive strategies have left other aggressive decks like humans not as viable, mainly due to the lack of answers that the humans decks have for these kind of decks. Containment Priest completely hoses Phoenix and other graveyard strategies like Gristle Shoal. I think that this is a card that Wizards could safely print into the format to address some of the more broken strategies in it right now. Containment Priest also fits into an archetype that Wizards might feel Modern is ready for, and that's Death and Taxes. Specifically, this archetype could benefit from like cards like Containment Priest and another reprint that I think that we'll see, and that's Wasteland. Wasteland nurse decks like Tron lets aggro decks keep tempo and would generally be great to include in a set designed to address the problems in the format but I'm sure that they don't want to print it because they're going to justify it with some stuff like, oh, oh, it's going to ruin, it's going to ruin the limited experience. Uh, so if we don't see a card like Wasteland printed solely because of its power level, we might also see a card like Rishanam Port put into the format. It's a card that's a repeatable answer to Tron lands, even though they'll just find another one with ancient stirrings and it keeps other greedy decks in check. As for newly designed cards, I'm interested in what Wizards could be thinking about. The two new cards that we've seen so far are Cabal Therapist and Sarah the Benevolent. Both of these cards have extremely powerful abilities, and Sarah's ability to ult the turn after it's played rewards creature-based decks that can protect her a ton. I think that we'll be seeing more cards like them, and going in a way that Wizards should be directing the format. We'll be seeing cards that take time to show their true power level. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? By making abilities triggered and repeatable rather than enter the battlefield, 
you can extend the power level of cards and create more high risk, high reward situations for players. Forcing decks to interact is something that the format is really lacking right now. What do I think will not be in this set though? There are a lot of things that people want, but I don't know if they're gonna get. Daddy Wizard's teats? They can only produce so much milk. I don't think we're gonna see any one mana cantrips like Brainstorm printed. There's just no way! These cards enabled the already busted strategies in the format, giving decks like Phoenix even more ways to find the cards that it needs. It could bolster up control, but if they're already getting counter spells that the deck desperately needed anyway, they probably have enough. Probably. I don't think we're gonna get any cards like Dark Ritual. They're giving us Flusterstorm, but like Seeding Song is already banned in the format for a reason already, so like... Uh. Another card people are discussing is True Name Nemesis. There's no way in hell that Wizards would print this into Modern. There's just no way! Like, Stoneforge Mystic is banned, probably wrongfully so. But even then, there's no real answers to it beyond the edict effects like a Lily Down tech. Like, we're not getting cards like Council's Judgment either in my opinion, which is one of Legacy's best answers to true name. We're not getting swords either. Path is a much more fair card that's already in the format. We don't need another one mana exile spell. Swords would completely work the format, in my opinion. And I feel like the goal of Horizons isn't to completely change the format, but rather address the problems that exist in it. In summary, Modern needs more answers. The format needs to feel more interactive. In Horizons, Wizard's primary goal should be to add cards into Modern that create engaging, memorable games, rather than just losing to a turn three Phoenix or a turn three Karn, what seems like every single time you play. But then again, I don't fucking know, man. All I really care about is EDH. Let me get that, let me get that EDH. Oh, 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 oh. Click here if you wanna watch another one. Click here if you wanna watch another one. Click here if you wanna subscribe to me. Subscribe to my videos, please.